Hello, and welcome to Kenshi, the post-post-apocalyptic open-world sandbox role-playing game. And I've gone ahead and made myself, and I'll be doing a rock-bottom start, which means I start off in the middle of the desert, starving, naked with one arm, and nothing to my name. All right, so I need to find some shelter. Uh, this desert has giant monsters that would like to eat me and people that would like to enslave me. Right in the middle of the desert. We need to get to the nearest city, which I think is Shobatai. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Shobatai. That will be the land of opportunity for us if we can get there now. Austin is not strong enough to fight anything, anything at all. And he's not fast enough to run away from anything, anything at all. He's not sneaky enough to hide from anything. So he will simply have to avoid things. Uh, this is where oh, we have the times three function, which will be very useful when crossing huge stretches of desert. Um, oh my, giant bug. Not at all desirable near the face. One of that creature's shortcomings is it can't see things from very far away. So being out here in the desert, in the middle of the day, we can avoid things from a pretty far distance. It's Austin's only hope is to not be noticed. And assuming the guards don't ask for a bribe when I come into the city, I should be safe. I don't know why they would bribe, ask for a bribe from a naked, one-armed man, but they have, uh, they have needs to. Look at this terrible dust storm. Let's try and make our way to the bar. So a one-armed man walks into a bar, and what does he see? Probably food. I'm hoping food and no people. Food and people. That's not a good mix. If I try and take any of this food, I will be in for a savage beating in exchange for my first meal. I don't think that's a fair trade. But look at these guys. The city heroes. I'll just start a fight. And then flee like a coward. Just start a bar fight. I don't want to finish a bar fight. No, thank you. But if this goes well, I'll be able to take lots of people's stuff and they'll be too busy being unconscious to stop me. Yes, there go the guards. They're breaking it up with katanas. Those are the most non-lethal weapon they possess. I'm going to strip this guy naked. So now I am no longer naked. But he is. So clearly naked is a transferable property. Get some upgrades. We're going to play gear Jenga. Because I just have one arm. No backpack. And presumably very small pockets. Oh my, that's a lot of people. Still fighting. I'll tell you what, let me try doing some editing magic and we'll see if we can cut to the end after I've robbed all these people. It's hilarious, they're called the city heroes, but nobody likes them. I start a fight with them and everybody wants to help me beat them up. Yes, uh, I'll swing this stolen stick. Very satisfying. I bet I could knock this guy out, hold on. Yes. That was pure skill. All right, and now we'll begin waddling away with all this stuff, and we'll have some starting income. All right, Austin waddles into the backpack store. And look, this guy knows the stuff is stolen. He just doesn't care. Nobody cares about the city heroes. Totally unaffiliated with the United Cities in the Traders Guild. 
And we're looking for a human backpack. A human, yes, for humans. And now we can go get even more of the stuff. A backpack really facilitates the gathering of more stuff. It's super good. Yep, everything they own. This guy, he's about to find out how dangerous it is to be unconscious inside the city limits. Those are slavers, and they are off to drag him to a life of employment. Lucky guy. All right, just look at all this free stuff. Really, nobody likes these guys. I don't know why they walk around like they own the place. They mostly just bully minorities. That's probably why nobody pays them, no, never mind. But I, mean, I say that and I'm a white human male. I wonder if it would count as self-defense hitting this guy. Well, uh, the guards seem to think that was self-defense. Jeez, Louise. All right, I'm gonna sell all this stuff. We might have enough money to leave and go buy a robot arm because Living with just one arm is not really doing it for Austin. Also, we might want to hire more people. That's the best way to acquire additional arms. Um, so if I can get some more subscribers, I would gladly take suggestions for new squad mates to be added to the party. Um, there is, of course, the chance that they'll die a horrible death. But I'm doing everything in my power to keep these guys alive. Right now, just one armed Austin. And there seems to be a disagreement out there, but I don't really want to go all the way outside the city just now. In fact, some of these giant bug monsters have been trying to get into the city, and that is a good source of stuff. And seeing as I only have one arm, I can only really get stuff that's already been killed for me. Thankfully in the world of Kenshi, people are dying everywhere all the time. Look, that bug was bleeding out. He wasn't going to get better. It's not really murder. Yeah, apparently looting meat from creatures kills them. If you were wondering, most people when they get knocked down in this game are merely unconscious and require medical attention. They're not actually dead. Although, I suppose, like a wall-mounted harpoon cannon could instantly kill someone if it shot them in an important bit. Now, these people out here, I think these are outlaw farmers, and they are by far the most dangerous creatures in this desert. They will stab someone for a slice of cheese. They are not kidding. These bugs, they have manners, not the outlaw farmers. They are, I think they're supposed to be like oppressed by the nobles or something, but it's very hard to feel pity for them when they just go around stabbing everyone for their cheese. And I'm going to leave them to their horrible fate. One more problem to address is I'm starving, but paying for food, that's a sucker's game. Look at this. They leave food on the table at these restaurants. And they see me sneaking over here, but the second I just hide behind this chair right here, they're none the wiser. And the best part is, right, no one's looking. The best part is, I'm going to eat the evidence. It's gone. How can there have been a crime when there is no evidence? A perfect crime. I'll poke around here, gather up some more food, and then I think I'm going to leave for the capital city. Um, Heft, I think it's called. It's a long trip, so I'll probably edit it out unless I get attacked. But I should be able to buy a robot arm there. If I can't buy one there, I can't buy it anywhere. That's, that's not true, strictly speaking. But I'm going to stick to it. And I want to be careful here because don't want that savage beating in exchange for a piece of bread. 
that is a poor deal. Also, when they process me at the police station, they will realize that everything I am wearing is ill-gotten. And then suddenly they'll care. So I might just decide not to risk it. Well, we've got some kind of animal traders or nomads coming into town. Austin really needs a beast of burden. Let's see what they're selling. Let's see how slowly I move because I'm carrying so much weight. And these people sell giant robot spiders. You guys are probably thinking a giant robot spider would make an excellent beast of burden. And you are correct. But these things are a little bit outside of my price range at the moment. And more importantly, Austin currently lacks the skill and resources to maintain a giant robot creature. I'm going to need something that runs on meat. Alright, speaking of meat, before I leave town, I'm going to throw away all this foul, useless meat, since I have no animals to feed it to. And I will begin moving to Heft, the capital of the Empire, because I want robot arms. Let's see how much of this we can edit out. Coming through the desert, and I see, what is this, more nomads. These guys seem to be selling giant killer uh, desert bugs and a single puppy dog. I don't think a puppy dog would be a good fit for us right now. So I shall continue. Goodbye, fair nomads. All right, made it to the town itself. No bag check, excellent. And I'm making a beeline straight for the limb doctor. There's almost always a robot. I think it always is a robot. Please, sir, may I have some limbs? Yes, limbs. What am I missing? One left arm, sir. Uh, blah, blah, standard, standard. Oh, he's got some high quality stuff. He requires high quality money for it. I'm not made of cats. Uh, well, looks like we're going to have to get Austin, the robotic equivalent of those things that pick up trash off the ground, like a pokey stick. Yeah, I could probably hold a sword with that. A mechanical stick for an arm. Robotic arms can always be taken off and replaced later with better ones. So maybe I'll just settle instead of selecting. All right, let's try it on. All the lives we've ruined up until now, it's about to pay off. Let's see what we've got. Let's strip off right quick. I want to see this new arm. Got armor, t-shirt. Yes, my own grabber nabber. Now I have two of them. Excellent, that worked out very well. Now let's see if we can't find some poor innocent person to convince to join us. Anyone here? All right, let's see what this lady wants. She might actually have some skills. Nope, I don't think we can afford her. That is a crying shame. It seems that more nomads have come into town. I'm going to see if I can't acquire an organic beast of burden from them. Hello, gentlemen. The nomads are usually pretty nice people. Traveling through the wastes, selling exotic creatures to anyone with cats. What do these guys want? Please sell me your animals. Okay, he's got a nice variety here. Dogs and garu and ox. Oh, skin spiders. Yeah, that's an organic creature. And robot spiders, for my convenience. A pack bull would be ideal. Dogs are cheap. Maybe if a subscriber wanted a dog in the party. 
this pack bowl right here. That's what we want, but it is still out of reach. This thing runs on meat, too. It is a shame. Well, there's always more nomads, more animal traders. We'll find someone. Hey, want to join my party? Want to join my party? Anyone? Anyone in these bars? Hey, you, want to join my party? No. I'm just too poor. I'm just too poor. Let's see. I'm so desperate for labor. I'm going to talk to the slave master. What is he selling? I don't know why. I thought there'd be anyone good in here. These are pretty much the bottom of the barrel people. Um, there seems to be some kind of disturbance outside of town. There's a bunch of bugs fighting one guy. Even I think that's a little unfair. Um, perhaps I could coerce these bugs into suiciding themselves against the city's defenses. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near that poor guy. Alright, in general, attacking creatures makes them mad, even if I haven't done it yet. Just my intention to attack these bugs has offended them. And then once they can smell my fear, which just wafts off of me in great volumes, uh, they will follow that. That smell of fear. They will follow it blindly into the town guards. Do not worry about the town guards. This is just a Tuesday for them. Regular Tuesday. Oh, if I had a beast of burden, it would be eating all of this delicious meat. I guess I can eat it too. Oh goodness, Mr. Bug. I, I don't want any of that. Mr. Bug, sir, is what I meant to say. Ah, oh, he's found a guard. All right, let's start butchering these things. Otherwise, they tend to just get back up. Butcher, butcher, butcher. This trader's backpack I've got is really useful for this because it lets things stack in its inventory. Yes, butchering. Now we can go see who this guy is that was being attacked. Some kind of ninja with a huge bounty. This might be the end of Austin's money problems. And I'm going to keep throwing out this rotten meat until I can find someone who wants it. Vendors won't even buy it. It's pretty garbage. Alright, this sand ninja was wearing ninja clothes. A huge improvement over what Austin was already wearing. A shirt that actually provides armor. Dibs on that. Medical supplies, real swords. Those will sell for a pretty penny. Pants that provide armor? Well, I'm feeling good. A basket that goes over one's head. That provides no armor, but it does protect against these dust storms, which are absolutely terrible. They're awful. Just the worst. All right, so not only are we about to make a ton of money off this bounty. See, you need two arms to pick people up. Make a ton of money off this bounty. We also got some nice equipment. Maybe, maybe Kenshi is survivable. Oh, right. Another thing, when turning in bounties, they prefer the bounties to be alive. So make sure you have medically stabilized your bounty before bringing it to the police. Unless you're just very quick. I've handed off bounties moments before they were about to die to the police, and they gave me full credit. So we'll turn this guy in. Dot, dot, ta and our money problems will be over. We will begin recruitment in earnest. Yeah, I'm not even gonna let him have the pants. Her, let her have the pants. No pants, just money. Well, that feels good. We've done good today. We've helped the United Cities and we've helped ourselves. Talk to some nomads. Oh, these guys are selling some cool creatures. Gorillas, goats. Dogs, camels, bulls, they've got it all. I could go for the bull, but he sells gorillas. 
I don't actually know who can hold more weight, a gorilla or a bull. I think I'm going to go for the gorilla. My uh, subscriber has a cat named Jabrik, so we will name this Jabrik. There are no giant cats in this game, so a gorilla lizard is as close as we can get to that. All right, we have a beast of burden, and I have assigned it a bodyguard duty, so it should follow me around. Now we can talk to this swordsman lady and pay her 6,000 cats right now immediately. And she will get named after my subscriber, Vemi, if I can spell that correctly. You can always go to a plastic surgeon and change this later. Confirm. All right, now we have a beast of burden and an actual swordsman in our employ. I think things are looking up. We just need to equip them with some backpacks. One human backpack, please. The, the one for humans. Yes. Yes, that one. And we'll also be needing the gorilla backpack. For some reason, the white gorilla backpacks and the black gorilla backpacks are different. They won't share. But that's okay. There we go. Gonna move some equipment around. You know, we need better armor. Everything we're wearing was stolen. So perhaps it's time to actually start purchasing things from the city's economy. Oh, we've got all this meat. We need to cook it. While Jabrik is fine with just eating the raw meat. Vemi and Austin will need to cook it first in these campfires. They've got this little refugee section of the town where us poor people can hang out and not be bothered. And we'll put all the food in Jabrik. He will be on food duty. That was a goat. Alright, we're traveling through the desert, just outside of town, looking for people down on their luck. And here are some slavers. Um, they will probably object to us. Uh, taking all their stuff. But most of them seem to be unconscious. We're going to put up our backpacks. Backpacks inflict combat penalties. So when someone's putting their backpack away, that's how you know they're serious. And I think these two half-naked slavers are going to get beat up. No more running. They can't sell us into slavery if we whoop their butt. All right, let's see how our first combat goes. Oh, Vemi is truly a swordsman. Look at her go. And I think Jabrik is pulling his weight, too, even though he's just a baby. I think the black gorillas get to the size of a bus when they're fully grown. This is just a baby. One guy down. You know, I think we've got this under control. It's nice when everything finally works out. I mean, Kenshi's a harsh place, but I feel like we've suffered enough. We deserve some good things. Here comes some nomads running up and engaging with Vemi and Jabrik. That's... Why are they taking the slaver's side? That's unusual. They come over a dune and they see slavers fighting with people and they assume... The slavers were just, uh, are being wronged. Well, we're about, if these, uh, nomads decide to fight us, we are going to get beaten senseless with their wooden sticks. These shepherds do not play around. Well, they're not taking swings at me. I think it's just Vemi and Jabrik they didn't like. Wow, they beat those guys up. Wow. Why would nomads do that? I really think they just took the slaver's side in this particular fight. Yeah, they're not trying to finish us off or anything. They just gave us a savage beating. Let's see if we can find Vemi's body and get out of here. I don't think I think if we try and loot these bodies that will just make them even more mad. Let's get out of here. Come on, Jabrik, let's go. Run, Jabrik. And also, 
it, slavers can't be sold into slavery. I think that's some kind of deal the slave traders have with the slavers, I think. Um, wow, these guys really just barely have anything worth taking at all. Maybe an odd medical supply, which we're definitely going to need in a minute as soon as I'm, I'm going to lick my wounds away from these people, these mentally unstable nomads. All right, we'll do a little bit of medicine before we go back into town. Cure up. That's a good way to work on our toughness and our medical skill. So really, everyone who beats you up in Kenji is really just trying to help you get better at your skills. We'll go back into town. Check these guys. These guys have no problem with us. It was just those other nomads. That's weird. And we'll start putting people into these free beds. In this game, the animal AI doesn't know how to get into a bed, so you have to pick them up and shove them in one. Just one of the many eccentricities of this game. And then we will sleep off our savage butt whooping. Except for my robot arm, which does not benefit much from rest. I will have to repair that in the future. In a richer future. All right, we're all waking up. Wake up. Wake up. There. Jebrick needs to be ripped out of bed, but I can just yell at Vemi. Get up. Opportunity. 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 Oh, just some random slaves fighting outside the city walls. I don't even think they're fighting. I don't know what they're doing. This was not the opportunity I thought it was. I think I heard some kind of disturbance in the police station. Opportunity? Anything going on? An unconscious woman lying on the floor? That sounds like just the opportunity I am looking for. Let's see what she's got going on. I'm sure the police will be very understanding of me investigating this. Uh, just armor, that's sellable. Oh, I see her problem. She has no legs. That explains why she's just loitering around. Well, slavers will buy people with no legs. Now, before you think bad of me, this is probably the only way this woman will ever get to eat ever again, is if somebody feeds her. So let's go ahead and wake this guy up in the middle of the night and sell him a legless woman that we acquired from the police station. See, no questions, just cats. All right, we got a big group of slavers coming near the city. I bet if I could lure them in, they would be easy pickings for the guards. As soon as they see us, they should try to enslave us. And now we run. Straight back to the city. It was very close, very convenient. Uh, this is the part where the guards rush out to meet them. The guards appear to be ignoring the slavers chasing us down and attempting to enslave us. This is a, a small miscalculation on my part. Hold on. Uh, we could try to lose them in the city. Maybe splitting up would be a better idea. Yeah, I'll send Vemi and Jabrik down to that side of the city. Well, this is just not good. This could end quite poorly. But we need to separate Austin and Vemi, so if one gets enslaved, they can be rescued by the other. Jabrik will probably just be slaughtered for meat if we get captured, so he should run too. I'm going to run back to the police station, see if I can drag them with me. Follow me! This is where they belong, in the police station. Looks like only two are continuing to chase Vemi and Jabrik. All right, and oh, they're this is kind of bold to flood into a police station in such a manner, don't you think? Uh, I might jump in a cell, which would stop them from attacking me, but would also kind of put me in their mercy. These corrupt guards. All right, let's try and run out of here. Maybe I can go to the bar. 
Oh, they're hitting me. Oh, that hurts. Run, run, run. Look at these useless guards. Help me. Help me, you useless guards. Help me. There's no help to be found here, is there? To the tavern. I think tavern guards and city guards are different. Ouch. I have to be careful. If they hurt my legs too much, I will not be able to run anymore. Femi and Jabrik seem to be safe in the refugee camp. But I have to hope that my salvation lies in this bar, because if it doesn't, I don't think I'm going to be able to run past all these armed men a second time. What do we got? What do we got? Mercenaries. I will pay you, Mr. Mercenary. I will pay you any amount of money to be my bodyguard right now. Right now, sir. Please protect me right now. Five minutes. That's all I need. Wow, looks like a lot of the mercenaries have joined my cause. I should still get out of here, though. Hmm. Well, I hope it's safe up here. Oh, wow. That's a lot of violence going on down there. And I am so lucky because there's absolutely nothing I could have done against that many people. Let me put my book back back on. All right. Touch my, my medicine. I might be able to poke my head down there. I really just want to get away. That's my main concern, because I'm not convinced the mercenaries can win this. Well, it looks like they're winning the fight. And there comes Vemi at top speed. All right, we got out of there. We're going to get a little bit of distance from the place. That's a lot of green. Green numbers are good. You know what? We can just loot from them while the battle is in progress. I'm sure that's never backfired on anyone in the history of battlefield looting. What have they got going on? And this is where Jabrik is going to be worth his weight in gold. Look at this. He's just going to pick up all this stuff after I check to make sure it's not an improvement for any of our stuff yes 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 all right actually I hadn't thought about that Jabrik I have to pick you up no animals allowed in the house unless they're carried and then I will use him like a knapsack to pick up all these people off the floor. Wow, this is quite a bar fight. And I've already started throwing people's unconscious bodies outside. That might make it a little easier for us to rob them. Thank you, tavern guards. Much higher quality than town guards. Right, so we'll just take everything these people have. I'm not interested in killing them or selling them into slavery or anything like that. I just want to take all their worldly possessions without fighting them. In fact, this is so much stuff, we might actually make back those 2,000 cats I paid hiring these bodyguards. So we got to commit violence against people for profit. This is good. Oh, Jebrick is full. You know, I wonder if the innkeeper would buy all the stuff off these people that just got knocked out in his tavern. I think he will. Wow, he knows it's stolen. He saw me steal it. And he's still going to buy it. What a grade A guy. This is the, the kind of tavern owner people want to know and want to be. There's just something very satisfying about selling other people's stuff in bulk. Like, these guys are going to be cold tonight because I even took their pants. All right. We'll get rid of that. We got caravans coming into the city all the time. And we still have these guards for a couple more hours. To what evil purposes can I put them? Wake up, Jabrik. Good go out into the desert, into the sandstorm. So we have just a few hours where we might bother some people with these guards. 
Here are some people. And the good thing is, if the guard, if the uh, these bodyguards go down, we can loot them too. Yes, look at them attacking these outlaw farmers. Oh, they might beat them. Well, this is going to be awkward. I guess we will retain their services for a bit longer. Let's go loot this battlefield. Yes. Sometimes people try and get back up. The only thing to do is put them back down. I will even butcher these guys' as dog. Meat, skins, all is useful. Take their stuff. Looting, montage, loot, loot, loot. We have Jabrik so we can take everything. No need to be picky. Except I think these guys' pants are actually worth nothing. Um, yeah. So they're just going to wake up in the desert like that. It happens. It happened to me. It happens to them. It's everything in Kenshi is fair. Oh, a giant bug. <laughs> Leave me alone. I think these guards heard me talking about them because they're not doing anything about this bug. Leave me alone. Leave, but the bug lost interest before my guards decided to do anything. That's Kenshi. Everyone in this world is in, them, in it for their, themselves. They're in it for themselves. All right, we probably have enough money that we might be able to buy a base or do some more recruiting. So my question to you, my viewers, is where do you think Austin and company should buy a base? If you subscribe and comment, I will gladly add you guys to the party, whatever people or animals you think might be appropriate. Look, everyone knows this stuff is stolen and they're buying it. And I'm going to spoil Vemi with this really nice jacket. Yes, it's really nice. But also when commenting, be sure to tell me what you want me to do. Do you want me to try and take down the Emperor of the Empire? Do you want me to beat up these escaped slaves that are pooling up outside the city? Uh, whatever you guys want, I'll try to do it. Uh, that's the end of this playthrough, but I will be continuing soon. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.